What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video at the Ideal Auto Factory where we talk about everything RCs and vinyl wrapping. Today, I got my Fantasy 2. Here we're gonna test out something that, uh, eh, not really controversial, but uh, does it even really matter? Uh, it, servo chatter, that's, that's what we're getting into. We're gonna talk about servo chatter, what it means, how it affects the car, whether it matters or not. Not gonna drive today, so sorry. I do have a vehicle in the garage. That's really what prevents me from driving all the time. So I apologize there, but hey, that's how it goes. When I can drive, I will drive and I will make videos on it. But for right now, we're just going over things on the table where I spend a lot of my time. So let's get into the video. Keep God first. So my remote is on back there. You can see it's blue. I got my trusty old uh, battery here. I'm gonna go plus closer. Is it plus closer? Min yep, mine is further away. So let's go ahead and put that plug that battery in batteries in flip the switch there we go all right and we're on now let's get over to this rev d take my mic listen to that so servos chattering away even when i Put that tension on it it still wants to talk I can feel it trying to move the I can feel it trying to move the wheels just ever so slightly and then I let go so it talks it talks now one thing to point out this doesn't bother me while I'm driving because I don't know anything else I have times where the servo chatters other times where it doesn't but most of the time, there's always that little back and forth. And it's like, oh, you know, it's such a high-tech piece of machinery that frequencies, hertz, latency, you name it. It's supposed to be the reason why that's doing that, because it's, it's fine and center. You're drifting, it's fine and center. It's trying to make sure you drift the perfect angle every time. Enough of that. What I did was I went ahead, rcsupremacy.com is where I got this from. This is a capacitor. I have no uh, bias to brands, but I'll say this. OMG has never done me wrong. And I'm not a pro, I keep saying that. I'm not a pro, but OMG, don't have any issues with it. So here's the capacitor. This is a 1,300, 1,320 microfarad, or yeah, UF microfarad, yeah, microfarad capacitor, it says cat box, and then you can put 30 volts to it. Now, this, whoo, what I'm about to do is solder this as close to this RevD servo as I can to see if that helps. I promise you I won't test it out before I show you guys, so. It has a positive and negative on it, as you can see right there. And I'm going to come back and see how it does. Everything is soldered up, as you saw. There's the plus to the plus and the minus to the minus. They're nowhere near each other, so they're not going to fry each other. Moment of the truth, guys. And let's turn it on. It still chatters. It still chatters. Yeah. I really want to know what causes servo chatter now. Well, that didn't solve the servo chatter problem, as you heard, but I don't know how it feels. Um, I don't know whether servo chatter even matters 
because I've always had it, uh, and I feel like it never gave me any issues, so why would I even worry about it? I just spent money on this to try and solve this concern. I don't even know if it's a problem, but either way, I put it on there. You see it soldered on there. Every, the steering still works fine. Everything still works fine, and that servo still chatters. I have seen it work in other videos to where the servo actually um, is not chattering because of either adding a capacitor or, you know, just it being um, in a different situation than what I have right now. Still wondering, what could fix servo chatter? I don't see servo chatter being a problem. Um, and then also when you, when you, when you're, so it's servo chatter now, but then you make that turn. And then I think it's only when I go right it stops. Yeah, only when I go right. So maybe I gotta tune something out in order to not get servo chatter. But who knows? Who knows what's up? Let's see. I got one more trick up my sleeve here. If I go in the system, let's see. Setup, unit, demo, oh. It's chattering less, right? So, I just took the gyro out of the equation here. So it's definitely a signal thing and less of a, I don't know how to really say it. Let me plug the gyro back up so you can see what I mean. And I was talking twice as much, so. Hmm. I don't know. And honestly, it doesn't bother me. I mean, the servo doesn't get hot. The car doesn't drive all weird, but. There you have it. My servo still chatters after I put a cap pack on it. And it's not that big a deal to me. I've heard you can adjust the damper point on these RevD servos, but I don't own a Windows computer. Let's see what let's see what my RDX see if my RDX has chatter, because I don't know. I don't pay attention to it. Barely. Well, there you have it. Servo jitter. Uh, not that big a deal to me, but hmm, as much as I'm thinking about it, it's something I don't even want to attack. I don't have any problem with my vehicles right now, so there you go. Uh, chasing the chatter might lead to more problems you know like more money more problems less chatter more problems because you good i just spent some money on a capacitor that didn't work now i'm like you know oh i gotta tune it out now i'm gonna go buy a tuner ah uh, tuna doesn't work next thing ah uh, forget this i'm gonna go buy a futaba 300 dollars servo or however much they are i don't know uh but then at that point eh, yeah it better not chatter because that's going to be a bad day. Well, for me, it is. Uh, so, yeah, I just stick to what I know. Server works fine. And, yeah, that's so done a lot of chasing, done a lot of uh, real scenarios here where I'm just figuring it out. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'm, I also want to point out maybe I'm using the wrong thing to remove signal uh, interference. But again, 
I'm probably chasing something that doesn't matter at all because the car drives fine. So, without further ado, thank you for watching. I appreciate you sticking in for this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in to the Res 2 video. That was definitely a video that I was, I wanted to get out. And so now that it's out, um, yeah, you guys love it. And I got to bring that thing back out and drive it once these cars get out of the garage. So, yeah, y'all keep God first. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Comment below. I'll see you in the next video.